What's up YouTube, Chris here with Trust 360 and today I'll be showing you guys how to update to the newest dashboard which is 16767. Um, this dashboard actually released last night, so uh, if you guys notice you tried to get online with your modded Xbox and could not, uh, that, that is the reason. So first I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that we are on the last dashboard which, which should be 16756, um, if I remember correctly, yes, uh, 16756. So what you want to do on your console, you need to go ahead and go over to your recent games and go ahead and start up XEX Menu. Now uh, once XEX Menu starts, you're going to need to boot up into Flash 360 or Sipple NAND Flash or whichever you have. Um, if you don't have that on your console, I have a link in the description so you can download that. So I'll just go ahead and navigate to that now and go ahead and start up Flash 360. Now I recommend Flash 360 but some people have issues with either Flash 360 or simple NAND Flasher. Uh, one or the two will actually freeze up their console. So um, I'll, I'll have links for both of those in the description just in case you guys run into any issues. So what you need to do, you need to click X to back up current NAND to file and then click A to save the entire NAND. And it'll go ahead and start, go through this progress and then you will have your NAND backed up and you can actually modify it to the newest dashboard. So once it is complete, just cl click any button, continue, click the back button and the back button again and that'll take you to the dashboard. Now I'm going to go back into XEX menu just to show you guys that I do have my uh, NAND backed up. This is going to be located in the folder that you actually have Flash 360 in. So if you don't know where to get that, um, it should be right in there for you. So just go to Flash 360 version 1.0 and as you can see we've got Flash DMP.bin which is our newest Flash that we backed up. And this is the UpD Flash which from the last dashboard so I'm just going to delete that and click confirm. So now you can see we have that, so you need to go ahead and get that on your computer, whether you use FTP, Xbox Neighborhood, or a USB. Just get that on your computer, and we will continue from there. Alright guys, now that you have the Flash DMP.bin on your computer, as you see I have mine here, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and download the link in the description for the newest XE build, and go ahead and boot that up. Now it should ask to run as administrator, just go ahead and do that. Um, that way you'll be able to uh, make sure nothing goes wrong and everything you know goes as planned. Okay, now what you want to do, just go ahead over here where it says source file, click open, and you're going to want to go ahead and select the flash dmp.bin which is on your desktop or wherever you have it put. So as you can see it fills in all this information here as well as down here you see status and the only X we have is the CPU key. So just go ahead and get your CPU key and paste it in there. As you can see we have all check marks down here. Now what you want to do is you click this drop down and if you click 2.0.16767 which is the newest dashboard. And make sure over here you have Zell Reloaded or whatever it uh, you know, puts into there. Make sure you include Dash Launch as well and custom Dash Launch settings. That way you will have Dash Launch built into the image. So just go ahead and click Generate Hacked Image. And you'll see over on the left hand side it's going to go through the glitching process. So it's actually glitching your NAND so you have the newest dashboard when you do upload it to your console. So uh, it'll go through this process, and as soon as it's done, it'll ask if you want to click yes to close, clear the log no, or leave it cancel. Just go ahead and click yes. We don't really need the program anymore. And as you can see, we have updflash.bin over here as well, and it should extract that to your desktop. So what you want to do, just go ahead and put that back on your console, um, whether it be through USB or, um, like I say, neighborhood or FTP, and I'll show you guys what to do from there. Alright guys, now that you have the UpD flash onto your USB or you've transferred it over to your hard drive, what you want to do is you want to put that into the root of Flash 360. Um, so I did use USB for this tutorial, usually I use FTP, but I, I actually purchased a new USB flash of 64 gigs, so I figured I'd put it to good use and not just you know, let it sit over on my desk. So just go ahead and copy the UpD flash, click X and go over to HDD1. You're going to go to where you have Flash 360, I have it in my Applications folder. Click in there, click the Y button, and go ahead and paste that in there. And it should t not take too long, it's only 16 megabytes. And once you do that, just go ahead and boot up Flash 360. Now, as you can see, we have three options, write updflash.bin to NAND, write up 
update areas of rebooter or backups. You want to click A to write the uh, NAND to the image and then go ahead and click A again to keep the current KV and config. Um, and then as soon as you do that, just go ahead and click start. It'll give you a warning, click start, A, and then it'll start writing it to your console. And this process doesn't take long. It's about the same amount of time it does to actually dump the NAND since it's just such a small file itself. So as soon as you get done with that, press any button to continue, click the back button, and then click the back button again to shut down. should take about three seconds, and then it'll actually reboot from there, and you can see if you have the newest dashboard. All right, guys, so now that you can see that we have our console rebooted, we're going to go ahead and check and see if this actually did work. To do this, just go over to your settings, go into system, console settings, click up twice on analog stick and as you can see we are on the newest dashboard 16767 so I hope you enjoyed this video guys uh, please rate comment and subscribe all that always helps out you know I don't upload as much as frequently but I will continue to upload even if I have the slightest activity because I do like helping out the community uh, whenever uh, whenever I do have time to do so and all the feedback you know really does help so you guys like I said just rate comment and subscribe and enjoy the mods online